Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to our Astroneer playthrough. Now, something that was suggested by one of the boys was doing something with this platform over here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little experiment. Apparently, it was suggested that say I put that down, right? I love how modular this base is. And grab one of these and pop that there. Maybe deploy it as well, I'm not sure. We'll move it. I, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. Like, if it auto-stores or something like that. This, and this is, why, this is one of the advantages of having you guys. Apart from the fact that I love you and you guys are all wonderful. But it's actually really cool. I, I, don't, have, I don't have the hours in the day to look up all this crap. So I actually really appreciate people telling me Oh, look, okay, so that automatically... Uh, I, I get where this is probably going. So that automatically sort of dismounted it. Which is interesting. Let's just hypothetically make... I don't know, let's make some... Uh, oh, I don't know, make some compound. And I think they said the furnace does the same thing. Come on. Now, seeing as much as I like the automation, like even in the back of my mind, I was like, "Yeah, there you go. That's so good. All right, that's good. That's what. That's that's cool." Um, and it does dismount the the soil canister as well. Something I was thinking about though is that. The, the the big problem that I'm going to have with the way that automation works and its limitations, because it is a basic automation system, is things like this. Is things like... Like, okay, so say that... That needs quartz. Now, where is it getting that quartz from? On my back? If I put the quartz on the floor, it doesn't detect the quartz, right? So it'll detect it on me. So I guess what I'm getting at is... Uh, You can't really automate that. Doesn't detect the quartz. Okay, hang on, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. No, fuck off. <laughs> Did they just pinch me, printer? Where'd it put it? Oh, that's that's actually it there. Silly me. Okay. Okay, all right, now we're bloody talking. Now we're talking. This is the one thing I couldn't reconcile. I'll use my words in a second. Okay. Because I'd love to be able to print anything on command, but it would need to draw the resources from somewhere, right? And this is this is backed on. I think it might have been Aldred. I'm not sure. I don't want to credit the wrong bloke, but it doesn't matter. You're all. You, I love you all. You're all my boys, or girls. Who knows what you are? But um, the fact that it can maybe draw different supplies is really. This is this is a bit game break not game breaking, this is this is just good. Alright, so let's do that.
Okay. Alright, so it does draw from the far side, it puts it back there. Okay, cool, it draws from the whole thing. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so hypothetically as well, especially with the small printer, because that's the thing with the small printer, it takes two inputs. So there is a hypothetical where I could potentially have two of everything on the storage sled. Right. Now, yeah, two of everything would make it so that it could build, and if I could have some sort of system for the arms to, uh, to filter through, but here comes the next sort of hiccup. If you have a look at the arm, the only mode that that really has is filter all items, and that's all. What does this do again? Storage, empty or not empty, right? Full or empty, full or not full. Full or not full. Empty or not empty, full or empty. Now that's pretty broad stuff. I don't know if I can get it to count out. You know, going on what I'm talking about here, hypothetically, I would want two of every single different type of resource. Like, this storage isn't big enough, but maybe we'll play with other storage sizes and see what we can come up with. But maybe you're getting a hint of of where I'm going there. Um, yeah, no, not quite there. There might be a way to do it. I'm, I'm big brain. I can work these things out. Pretty good fun, though. I'm really digging that. Okay, cool. I think apparently someone said you can have three trailers on your tractor as well, so that's cool. Uh, but at this point, I guess we just sort of got to think about what's what's next on the menu, you know? And what do we got here? Small oxygen tank? I guess that would extend my range. That's cool. Um, but for the most part, we get, I mean, that plant's got quite large. Maybe I dig that up. So I guess it's got a random chance of spawning research or something maybe you know that's that's what it seems like hmm okay all right well we've got the science lab so that's cool chemistry lab this thing atmospheric condenser <coughs> excuse me i did actually google iron and it seems that you do have to go to other planets for it Sorry, just having a sip. There is something specific that breaks down into iron. Hematite. I believe it was hematite. Which I don't think uh, we have on this planet. Wolframite? That's, that's our moon, I think. Novus. Forested cratered. Oh, okay. So some of these seem actually quite quite tricky. Alright, so at the very least, actually here's something with the dedicated uh, printer, like that would be a universal printer. Okay, but let's say hypothetically. Hypothetically, we, uh, what is this? With the medium print, with the small printer, which is what we're looking at there, building solid fuel thrusters w might be an actual thing for us, right? So, hydrazine thruster. Steel and tungsten. Steel? Steel we might be able to make. I don't think so. I get a feeling that we're going to need iron to make steel. Let's just double check. Because what, we could have a specific printer that can make specific things if we have a call for something being made on repeat. Iron. Okay, so that's off the cards. There's, there's no iron. 
I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, team. I'm, I'm doing these episodes less to a schedule and more just because I like this game and I want to play it. So you might put a comment and it might take me a couple of episodes to respond to it. So what I'm getting at is I can only really build solid fuel thrusters, right? So hypothetically, we need ammonium and aluminium and I could make a build platform where I would have overlapping arms uh, on either side. I mean, it might not have to be this big platform, but even if it's got the winglets, even if it's just got that little bit there, right? So I would be able to get this arm, right? Let's grab it here. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Come on, little fella. Jeez, he's so much slower when... That used to be how you had to carry things in the really early version. All right, so what you would do is this, right? Overlap like that. I'd put a filter for each. So I'd put an aluminium filter on this and I'd put an arm on the mirror side for here for, for ammonium or whatever, right? And it will be um, like, if, if empty, then put on. So I can put aluminium and ammonium on there. So at any given time, this platform I'll be able to open it up and it will be ready to go. I can make the solid fuel thruster immediately. I might even be able to, I don't know if you can auto print. I don't know if you can automate printing with this as well, right? And then on the back of that, I would potentially have a production chain too for ammonium and aluminium, which require, well, they require harvested resources. That's the one sort of thing, right? Like I know I can, Where's it gone? Oh, I put it over the other side, didn't I? But... I know I can make things out of this, the soil centrifuge, but I don't believe I can make ammonium and aluminium out of it. Compound resin. Yeah, so this... Oh no, I can make ammonium. I can make ammonium. That's interesting. Aluminium, not so much. Now, that then brings me to the automated, um... There's like a thumper. This, auto extractor. I'm not going to be able to make that anytime soon. But, does that run out of resource, or does it use a resource forever? That's something I'm curious about. That's something I'm very curious about. Um... Yeah. Yes. Anyway, cool. That's a bit, a bit of theory crafting, but that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um, but for starters, let's. I might continue my runway out here. Run, 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 run away from you. More than I could do. All right, we got my little tractor. Um, then what is extra large arch platform? I don't know if that does anything. Like if it's purely, purely cosmetic. Zinc and quartz. Part of me wants to build it to know. Like, can I use it as like a service point or something? All these cool platforms look great as well. Landing pad. Is that just similar to the one I've got over there? I'm not sure. But, um, figurine platform. Extra large platform A. Man, some crazy stuff. Yeah, this extra large arch platform. It's called a platform, which is strange. Hmm. Dunno. Well, regardless, I need more research, right? So let's just check out my little inventory. I've got my trusty little generator, I've got some tethers, so that's it. A man with a mission, and a hope and a dream. That's all I really need. So I'm gonna go underground. I'm going deeper underground. Oh man, Jamaraquai? Now there is a deep pool. There's too much back in this town. Alright, now what's in to the left? There's something... Something left. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
No, no, no. Shooting bloody poisons at me. Stop that. Holy shit. Oh, there's a little bit of resin in here. Hey, perfect. Just what daddy wants. Seems we've looped around somewhat. So at its core, there's sort of two loops that I really need to consider at the moment. One is like re renewable research get oh what is going on above here oh it's my light we need to constantly farm research right going underground's a thing going for a drive is probably a thing as well um because i can cover more distance and just sort of look around uh so i might even but maybe investigating in vehicles a bit more um And then having like a, when I come back to base, what happens there? You know, I talked about having like a bit of an Iron Man setup. Um. I wonder if you can automatically put research in. Um, I doubt the automation arms can grab the big research, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, like, as much as I know Underground has probably got some of the juiciest stuff. Um. Going and driving kind of makes a lot of sense. There's a research tree over there. Now, do they... I wonder if they grow back. I know that the minor research grows back. But do the research tree researchers grow back? I doubt it. I get a feeling that they're one and done. That looks like there's a battery over there. Um, I might actually build a second base. I was thinking to myself that if I, if I go... If I go in my rocket ship every time, why would I ever need to build another shelter? But then it occurs to me, because there are, there are multiple landing sites from orbit, right? And I was like, well, what if I drive? What if I want to drive from place to place? Aha, uh -huh, now we do actually need a shelter at each place. Oh, look at that, I didn't even see that. So what I might do is, it's almost like the Americans flying into space. I've gone, I, I, I got there once, you know. <laughs> no need to ever go back to space again. Oh, okay, this is looped around. It's actually quite a shortcut. Um, yeah, what I might do is plan a space flight to a, to a neighboring landing zone on this planet, right? And then I'll look at trying to join them up and have some sort of freeway. You know, 
I, I really want to make that paver thing, but I think that technology is well beyond us at this point. But, um... I want to... I might even try and... I might even package me tractor, actually. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do exactly this. Now, the one thing that I'm sort of missing is aluminium material. Right? That's, that's sort of... That's sort of what I'm missing to get this plant on the road. Right? Yeah, we'll build a new thruster. We'll build a new thruster. I'll package my tractor and take it with me. I'll land nearby, as close as I can. Now, I could drop a beacon, I suppose, hypothetically. I mean, I could use my tractor to drive back. Uh, I guess my ship would leave a beacon. I mean, it'd be cool, but if I wanted to run a tether line... I would actually have to do it on foot. That's the thing. I would have to do it on foot. Yeah. Okay, new plan. Forget the tractor. We might just do an overland bloody jog, you know? I'm not sure the battery works if you plug it in like that. Can't be certain. Alright, um... Small generator. No, no, we don't need that. Like, we could build a base, but I haven't got the tech for a base. Well, oh... But I really did want to... I really did want to research this and see what I could do with it. Oh, stuff it. Stuff it. We're gonna pivot. We're gonna do this. Two quartz, two zinc. Uh, I had one quartz around here, unless I spent it. Oh. Oh, I've got laterite lying around all over the place over here, so that's good anyway. So I guess I don't have to make my mission underground after all. Uh, spherite is what it's called, isn't it? Sphalerite. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. Hang on. I didn't need glass. I needed quartz. Quartz and zinc. What are you doing? Oh, too much. Oh no, zinc I do need to make. But I don't need to make glass. Ah, silly sausage. That's okay. Um. Perfect. Two quarts. And... Oh, it's with the ma it's with the mega printer, isn't it? Okay. Oh, my base is such a mess, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yes. All right. All right, got a zinc. Are we just struggling for power? Is that what's going on here? Oh, it did drain the battery out of storage. That's interesting. I kind of thought it wouldn't. Nice. Yeah, I definitely have to clean this up, but I'm I'm it's I'm getting analysis paralysis, right? Because I keep thinking of better ways to do it that might be just beyond my technological reach at present, which sort of stops me from doing it. But uh but like that's not really the way to think. 
So what was stopping me from building my bloody, my paver thing? Yeah, see, so we've got this button repeater, power sensor, storage, storage sensor. No, no, that's the one I've already built. Battery sensor, okay. So there's some interesting things going on here. Generators require tungsten, oh, okay. Paver. Aluminium alloy and silicon. Actually, I might be able to build some of this stuff, I don't know. If I can, I will absolutely research that. Aluminium alloy. Oh, I can make that, okay. And what was the other one? Silicon. Resonant. Oh, I can! Look out, paver, here I come. 5,000 bytes. Alright, put that on my list. Put that on my list. This is, okay, cool. Right, well, finding the new base will be something interesting. Presumably the paver is like an attachment, like it goes on the front. I don't know, maybe I can do it with my tractor. Um, am I that worried about having an oxygen tether line from base to base? Not really? Not terribly. No. Okay, so... The, the plan is still on, to shuttle to a nearby area. I like the idea of that. And establish a new town, new new, new Scarletsville, and uh, and then probably pave a road there. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Man, look at this thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, does this have to stand on storage or? It looks like it might have a plug hole in the bottom. Is there storage up above? I don't know. But I'm curious to see what it does. Very curious. It might do nothing. It might do nothing and that's fine. Um. Oh jeez, we're hurting in the tether department. Oh, come on baby, let's go. Faster. I'm not made of time. Oh, never mind. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right. Let's move that over here. Oh, all right. Wait, what's that? Activation item? Activation item. I've got to build my little jetpack, I think, as well. Swaying. I put things in there. Okay. I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't really understand it. Yeah, it looks like there's storage on the... ...on the top as well. Okay. Decorative, but... but practical. But practical. This could serve as like an entrance to a town sort of thing. I don't understand why it's called an activation icon. No, no, no. 
Huh. Okay. Cool. Interesting. What? Why did you drag down to there? Why did that drag down to there? Hang on. Is this somehow like... The movement sensor activated? So when I pass through... Yeah, when I pass through, it's putting things there. about. Hmm, I'm sure we could find something to do with that. I'm sure. It's not apparent to me immediately, but that's cool. There's a pseudo-automation to it, too. Alright, team, thanks again for joining me. You might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.